Cradle Book 10, Reaper Elder Whisper leads Linden to the Sword Sage's void space, where there's a key to the labyrinth. He tells Linden the answer to permanently killing the Dread Gods can be found within. Rhaegon Shen alters the suppression field and unlocks the labyrinth. Linden attempts to fix Dross, but can't restore his personality and innovation. Ethan claims there will be soulsmithing knowledge within the labyrinth to help heal Dross. Linden, Boring Dross, Little Blue, Tiny Orthos, Yaren, Ethan, Mercy, and a restored Zeal enter the labyrinth. Mercy advances to Overlord. Linden learns of the Soul Forge and how to use significance for soulsmithing. The team fights Rhaegon Shen. One by one, each of Linden's companions perform a final feat and escape so Linden can continue. Linden is not happy to be left alone. Rhaegon Shen kills Subject 1. This releases the Hunger Aura bound to it and empowers the four remaining Dread Gods. Linden speaks with the Slumbering Wraith, learns that monarchs are the reason Dread Gods exist, battles Rhaegon Shen, advances to Archlord, and ejects Rhaegon Shen from the Labyrinth. Linden claims authority over the Labyrinth and becomes a Dread God by binding Subject One's arm to his body. The Court of Seven fails to stop the advance of the Mad King and the Vrosheer. The Mad King arrives in Cradle with his false scythe. Aethon reveals himself to be Osriel. He uses the powers of seven of the eight judges to force the Mad King to retreat. The Court of Seven arrives to take Osriel into custody.